What's up guys, welcome back to episode four in our Space Engineers Crash Landing Survival Series. If you guys missed the first three episodes, make sure you go back and check them out. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the channel, I'm happy to have you. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so last episode we finished our drill. We pretty much made it perfect in my opinion. Well, not perfect, but good enough. Sorry, let me turn this back on. And let me dump all my resources. But we made it good enough, and uh, yeah, it got us a ton of materials. The issue now is we don't really have the storage capacity for all of it, or the refining capabilities. Um, also, I just wanted to say thank you. Oh god, I put my helmet back on. Uh, we hit over 1,000 subscribers, which is just insane. Thank you for everyone who subscribed, and watched, and commented on the videos. I really appreciate it, and I read every single one of your comments, and it's all great advice. Uh, so like I said, we made the drill, and we dug this pretty big hole. But the thing is, I want to make it deeper. Oh, we have a Reaver. Okay, we are under attack. So I I also installed the Parallax mod. Uh, where was it? I saw it around here somewhere. But we have a Reaver, so let's go ahead and deal with this first. And then we will jump into what we're going to do today. I slammed the ground a little bit too hard. Whoops. Let me go ahead and get my tools back here. Uh, <laughs> Let's put these away. And let me get my oxygen and hydrogen bottles back. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Like I was saying, we're gonna deal with this guy first. Oh, the airlock's not closed, oh no. I'm missing the action, I'm missing the action. Oh, that's a big dude. Oh no. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh my god. What, oh no. The destruction. I don't think he actually destroyed, well, a couple blocks got destroyed, but I don't think he really destroyed much of anything. Yeah, crash. Okay. Well, you know what? It could have been worse, right, guys? At least we, uh... At least we didn't lose anything major. I just need to fill in a couple of these blocks. I'm also... I also realized that these interior blocks I did on the outside are not very strong. So I've been filling them all in with heavy armor blocks. Just to kind of increase the strength of the base. But give me a second. I'm gonna get all this fixed up, and then we'll be right back. Alright, well, I got the blocks placed down, and uh, we'll let our little robots... Wait, I missed one. But we'll let our little robots fix up the base. Actually, this isn't even destroyed. It's just half destroyed. <clears throat> uh, and I think that brings us to our first task for today. And that's definitely going to be increasing the defenses around the base. A lot of you guys gave a lot of really excellent suggestions. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I have a junction right here. I'm going to make another junction on that side. And then we're going to just extend this out a little ways. And create a couple more defense towers. Maybe some larger ones really ramp up the uh, the defenses around here, but maybe even some custom turrets, who knows? First things first, let me go ahead and get this uh, conveyor junction. I thought I had already hotkeyed it, I guess I didn't. Let me go ahead and get the conveyor junction going, and uh, yeah, we'll make some more defense towers. All right, so we're gonna do one here, and then I'll do one on the opposite side about the same height. Um, let me go ahead and count the blocks out. I like to, I like to make everything somewhat symmetrical, so um, I'm just gonna basically repeat this around all four corners. All right, well, we finally have all of our turrets fully functional, um, so I kind of went with a similar design. So we have the assault turret on top and four Gatling turrets, and this is all the way around. So now we have the two on the side and we have the two on the front and the back, which I think will hopefully cover all angles. The heavy armor blocks are finishing up. They're really expensive. I did not realize how expensive they were, but they're finishing up, and I realized we need magnesium because we don't really have enough ammo to power all these beasts. So, I'm gonna take our handy dandy miner ship and uh, we're gonna go get some magnesium. And you know what guys, while I was building all this stuff, I was thinking, I wanna build ships, but I also kinda wanna steal a ship. And if you look, I mean, we have so many vessels around us, tons of civilian vessels, and uh, I know it seems kinda rude, but I'm thinking about stealing one of those civilian vessels, which is another reason why I kinda wanted to up the, um, up the uh, security around my base. So that if I do get into some trouble from stealing, I can run back home and hopefully defend ourselves from uh, the police. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. But I think also we need to build a fighter to get up there and uh, maybe weaken the ship enough to be able to do that. So I don't know. Lots of stuff to think about. I'm going to go ahead and mine this stuff up and finish up the defenses and I'll get right back with you guys. Alright, so everything's pretty much wrapped up over here. Uh, we need to produce some more ammo, but I think once we... Here, I'll go ahead and start doing that now actually. But, 
I think we're gonna be all right. I mean, I feel like we're pretty much protected. So the next big project I wanna do is I wanna build some temporary cargo containers. Uh, I'm thinking about putting them one right here, maybe like two or three of them right here, just kind of stacking them up. And the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna run this drill all the way down to the ground, all the way down to its, to its very bottom, right? So once I can, once I do that, we'll retract the drill and then I'm gonna move all of the cargo and hydrogen storage down into this hole and we're gonna cover it up with a bunch of heavy plates or heavy blocks I'm sorry heavy armor blocks and that's the plan so once all this stuff gets done producing I'm gonna go ahead and start building up these cargo containers and uh yeah we'll, we'll do that temporary storage just so we can store all this stone we're not wasting all those resources and then the goal for this room is I want to turn it solely into refineries and assemblers because this is taking way too long to refine everything and assemble everything. So yeah, that's the plan. Once I'm done with this, I'll check back in and we'll start building the cargo containers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down our temporary large cargo containers right here. And like I said, once these guys get built up, we're gonna run this drill and then I'm gonna go in here and start breaking down the other ones after we do all that though, just so we have the extra uh, inventory space for now. But yeah, I'm gonna get those built up and then I'll check back in. All right, now that we have both of our new cargo containers up, that should give us, hopefully, enough storage space to be able to run the drills safely. So let's go ahead and turn these things on and get them going. Well, guys, I might have underestimated just how many resources this was going to gather. Uh, we've already filled up, I think, both of these. Okay, this one's almost full, and then uh, this one is already full. And I don't even think we're halfway down with the drill. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build, I guess, one more for now. And then we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and stack one more on top of these. Just for now. And then, like I said, we're going to move everything down into this gigantic Energy hole low. once it's all done. So, yeah, I will be checking back in with you guys when this is finished. And we'll start doing that process. All right, guys, you know what? I think that's going to be good enough. Uh, that hole looks deep enough. And... I would say we have enough resources for now. Hold on, let me turn this drill off and I will uh, show you guys the numbers. So if you go over here, this one's completely full with stone and cobalt. This one is completely full with stone, iron ore, nickel ore, and cobalt. And this one is completely full with iron ore, stone, and nickel. Uh, the other two inside are also completely full. Uh, they have a bunch of other stuff in them too, but just an insane amount of stone, an insane amount of iron. Um, I don't think we're gonna want for anything. We never even ran out of iron or anything really from the first time we used the drill. So like I said, once this guy's completely retracted, I'll break down these cargo containers and uh, we will rebuild them elsewhere down here in this hole. I'm excited, That's this is gonna be pretty cool. I've never done anything like this. I need to extend this guy out and I'll try to bring it straight down the side right here so we can kind of connect everything to it that way. But yeah, it's gonna be cool. If you look, I mean, we still have ore all around here. So what I'm gonna do too with the drill is uh, I guess extend it more over this way. I don't know, or I might just completely break it all down. It served its purpose. I don't think I'm gonna need it anymore, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. We'll leave it here just in case we need to use it again. But yeah, I'm gonna get to building all of this back down in here and some extra hydrogen containers and you know, whatever else we really need. I mean, I could put all of our industrial crap down here, honestly. But yeah, I'll be back, we'll start working on that. All right, now that the drill is almost out of the hole, we went ahead and turned off our hinge lock and uh, I'm gonna scoot it, I guess over this way. I think that'll be good for now because there's still more ore over here that we could possibly get if we wanted to. I mean, iron, cobalt, yeah, we already have enough of both, but, you know, just in case we get greedy, we could definitely do that. Uh, let me go over here, and I'm not sure if I want to increase or decrease the velocity. Let's try decrease. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> that was kind of fast. Uh, let's go a little bit more, yeah? And we will lock it right... No, 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 oh, God. Oh, that was scary. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is not the best system. Okay, it should be locked right there. <laughs> that was terrifying. I almost smashed it into this tower right here. All right, that, that'll be enough. You know what, guys? I hate to say it, but we may have to tear down the mega drill and, and rebuild it. 
at least uh, put a piston up here so we can extend it further out. I should have done that in the beginning when I was building it. I know someone commented also agreeing to that, but, you know, I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. So, for now, we're just going to set up our conveyor junctions. Like I said, uh, we're going to go... So, I'll start one right here. I like to be able to see them, because I always mess them up. So, we'll do... Excuse me, I need some steel plates. Guess what I don't have, guys? Steel plates! Okay, hold on. There we go. All right, so, like I said, we need to... I always mess these up, but we need to do a curved one right here. Excuse me while I figure out my life. Oh my god. All right, so a curved one right here, and then another curved one off the bottom of this guy. I hate when they don't automatically line up like you want them to. Okay, so we'll do it like this, and then a couple straight ones coming down. Maybe another curved one going down. And uh, we'll do like this, and then I'll do a junction right here just because. Just in case we want to build a little bit differently. And then if you look, it should come straight on down. But let's see. All right, it's looking promising. All right, and then uh, I guess down here at the bottom, I'll do another junction if I can find one. There we go. And then we'll just use this to kind of connect everything. And like I said, we're going to cover everything up here in uh, the heavy armor plates, which is going to take a ton of resources. But the good news is we have a ton of resources, so not really an issue, right? And that will give us some really good protection, honestly. So it doesn't, we're not having a loaded bomb in our house with tons and tons of hydrogen. I also do want to build another drill or a better way to gather ice so we can stock up hydrogen better, but you know, that's a project for uh, for later us. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff built up and then we will see what to do next. You know, I was thinking guys, what do you think would be better on the bottom? Large uh, cargo containers? Because I could put the hydrogen ones on top of these. I'm thinking yes. I think we'll do the cargo containers and then we'll do the hydrogen. All right, guys, so I think this is going to be enough storage. I have five large cargo containers down here, and uh, we have room for more if we want to make more. I don't think we necessarily need more right now, though. God, my energy is low every time. Someone said I should put seats around just so I could sit in them, and that's really not a bad idea, but I don't know if I like the aesthetic of just seats hanging out. <laughs> I like the idea, though. It's, that's good. Oh, I didn't fill up all the way. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I guess I could start breaking down these guys, and then they'll just start filling them in down here, but I kind of don't want to do that. Man, we need motors, lots of motors, and uh, all of this stuff in the build planner. I think that's it, though, right? Oh, motors, construction computers. Okay, I'm going to start getting all this stuff built up, and we're going to see. I guess once we get the first storage container built up, I'll go ahead and break down one, and then we could just kind of like one for one them. Oh, sorry. I, I understand about the movements being too fast. And you know what, to remedy that a little bit, here's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna lower our mouse sensitivity. Because you you guys are right, I was going through and rewatching it and I was like, wow, we do move really fast. Oh wow, that's way better. Okay, see, I should have done that before, I'm sorry guys. Sorry to anyone whom I caused motion sickness. It was not my intention. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this build planner and uh, get this stuff queued up. Man, even our drills, like we have nowhere else to put stone. We stopped it at the perfect place. I. I can't, I cannot fathom the amount of materials that we got from this drill. That that was insane. You guys were not lying when you said that uh, the drill was a good move. And I see that now. I don't even need like a mining ship. I mean, I, I do have a, the small mining ship, but that's just to go get little bits of stuff that, you know, like magnesium or silver, gold, platinum, stuff like that. But everything else is good. Like I, I do not foresee myself needing iron. I could probably build a hundred large grid ships and never need iron again. I'm gonna go ahead and start, uh, I'll wait for these guys to get built up and then we'll start placing the hydrogen, but I'm gonna do one, probably one, two, three, four large hydrogens, if that's enough. I don't know, I don't know. So we have six, so eight large cargo containers. I don't think I could fit one on this one, but maybe we can do six large hydrogens and then uh, go ahead and cover this up up here and that, that'll leave us all that space to kinda add more stuff if, if need be. Maybe we can add some refineries and assemblers down there too. I don't know. I also had someone say that we're not making enough power to add more assemblers and refiners and I you know I have not checked on our power yet so let me let me see how our batteries are doing. Okay so fully depleted in one day, fully depleted in one day. That's decent right? So we have current inputs 1.57, output 1.66. That's not terrible. However that's gonna get worse when we add uh, more refineries and assemblers, especially with the sheer amount of ore that we're trying to uh, refine right now. So maybe I'll add 
I could add like a wind turbine to some of these towers potentially. Uh, or I can just take this out and then make a huge solar, or uh, not solar farm, uh, a wind farm, but I don't know. These are all great ideas that are coming up and uh, we'll see how we execute. Man, I wish we could get the first one done already so I could start, because as soon as I chop this one down, they could build another one, another one, another one, and then uh, it'll look a little bit cleaner up here. Yeah, this sucks. I may have to tear down the drill. That, that makes me really upset, actually. I, uh, I was really proud of this drill. Is there a way that I could uh, like add a piston to it without breaking down the entire thing? Like, how would I, how would I be able to do that? You guys will have to let me know. I'm not going to do anything yet, but I'll be looking for that suggestion in the comments. If there's a way that I could separate this right here, add a piston to it to be able to extend it further out, I'll keep the drill, and that would be pretty sick. But, like I said, I don't know how to do that. So, if anybody has any great ideas, let me know. That would be super helpful, and I would appreciate it. Oh, I could fit one more in there. Sweet. Okay, I added another one. <laughs> one more large cargo container. Well, let's see how long it takes to build up all this stuff. These things are not cheap. They are very expensive. 300 interior plates a pop, 60 tubes, 24 metal grids. Yeah, they are not cheap. Good news is we are not short on resources, so it doesn't really matter. If only we could find some uranium, that would be pretty sick, because then I could start doing rocket turrets and stuff like that, because I don't know if you guys know this, but anything other than the ammo I'm using now requires uranium for some reason. Even rockets. Rockets are the most expensive. Jeez, look, platinum, uranium, that's ridiculous. All right, we got the first one done, but it wasn't the right one. That sucks. So now when this this guy needs to get complete, which he just needs 24 uh, metal grids and a couple computers, then I could start breaking down the other ones. Well, actually, once once this uh, conveyor tube gets finished, then I could start doing that. And we could start moving on, make things a little bit easier for ourselves and clear out some uh, some space inside of our, um, what you call it, our production room. That's what I will call it, the production room. I'm probably gonna go in there and honestly just clear out everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna probably gut the entire room and then and then rebuild it. Oh, we should put our batteries down here too, so they're safe. I think that's actually a really good idea. We'll put a, uh, a line of batteries around here. That's, yep, I like it. I'm doing that, that's happening. I should have started with a giant hole in the ground. That's, uh, it seems to be the best way to do things. Oh, we have our first Reaver. Uh, since we upgraded the defenses. Real quick, let me just go through and make sure I set them all to 800 meters. Uh, yes, okay. So it looks like all the turrets are set up properly. Let me just make sure. Yep, 800 meters. Cool. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm actually kind of excited. We got a little bit extra firepower now. Whoa! All right, relax. I hated that. Oh, he's just out of range. Come on, get closer. Why are you scared? Wait, is he going to try to ram us? I hope he's not one of the ramming ones. Oh, here we go. Here comes the barrage. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Well, he deactivated one of the turrets by breaking the conveyor. So I guess that's kind of a weak point, but I, I hope he moves. I don't want him to come... I don't want him to come crashing down on top of us. Man, how is this thing still in the air? No! Don't shoot at our hole. Man, this guy's tough. Come on. Oh! All right, yeah, and there's no way he's still flying. There's no way. Bro, how are you still alive? All right, well, I think he's actually going down now, so that's good. Uh, we we took a little bit of damage, but, but nothing too crazy. Uh, one of our turrets got messed up. Looks like the conveyor got jacked up over here on this side, so we need to fix that, but that's easy. And uh, I saw one landed. Yep, one landed over here. Okay. That's uh, that's fine, too, I guess. I forget what kind of block this was, though. <laughs> I think it was, uh, oh, it was the interior angled block. That's right. You know, I should really probably change these out for uh, heavy blocks as well. We'll do heavy rounded blocks right here. Maybe that'll be a good look. Let's see. Uh, heavy round armor slopes. Because why not? 
but I need steel plates, obviously. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get that uh, all fixed up, hopefully, and um, yeah, that will create another airlock because right now all of our air is escaping. Uh, the turrets didn't do the best. I expected better, honestly, unless that ship was just really strong for some reason. I feel like it just was not taking enough damage. Um, I'm not sure what to do to remedy that, but we will figure it out. All right, so we have everything in the build planner now. Let's see if our uh, blocks down here have been complete. They have not. We are just waiting for these two to be complete. And once they are, should be good. Let me go ahead and add that to the build planner too. Uh, maybe I didn't add it to the build planner. I thought I did. Whatever. I'll help with what I can. I have some materials on me. Well, let's go ahead and do this, and then I need to go recharge my suit again. But if you look, guys, three, three out of the... How many is that? Nine are finished already. And then we have three more right here, so that'll make six. So, yeah, it's coming along pretty well. Oh, I need to recharge. That's right. Ouch! I always do that. I guess there's no point in holding down the airlock in here because, uh... There's a giant hole in the wall. Alright, so as soon as this thing gets complete, these last two down here... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking down all the other cargo containers. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna put some batteries down here, too. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and place those two while we're, uh... While we're hanging out. So I like the warfare batteries. I uh, I think they are cool. Unable to place, unable to place. Okay, I can put one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here. And we'll do six, why not? Six batteries down, super protected. I don't think anything's gonna be able to get to those. And uh, like I did on the other things, once I break down those two batteries, they'll just take the materials straight to those. Oh, we gotta fix this turret up here. What is wrong with you? What do you need? A lot, okay. I mean, yeah, that's the build planner. And then, I don't know if anyone else sees anything, but I, I don't see any more damage. I, I feel like that was pretty much all they all they got from us. Yeah, I don't see any more holes or anything like that. The last time we had a fight, I didn't realize that there was a hole in the wall over here. And I was wondering, I couldn't, couldn't figure out why I didn't have a good airlock. And then I, it dawned on me. There was a hole in the wall. Alright, motors, motors. I want 12 motors right now. I don't care what I have to do to get them. Give me motors. I will add them manually. Alright. I have my 12 motors. Let's get this bad boy connected. One, two. Oh, I needed more motors. I did not realize. Okay. <laughs> Just a couple more motors. Do we have any? Yes, we do. Okay. Go ahead and get those bad boys. All right, that should be enough. Once I have this, everything can start to disperse appropriately into the other cargo containers. Yeah, let's go. Everything's connected. We have green, we have green. Let's do this. All right, time to saw you down. And there goes everything. But the good news is our, uh, please don't break anything, our little robots will come pick it all up. And they will put it where it needs to go. Man, look at that. That is insane. Thank God we're on a low gravity planet because that would cause some damage if we weren't. All right, are you full yet? You're getting there. Cool. All right, now hopefully they should uh, pick up all this crap and use all the resources I just destroyed to build some new stuff. By new stuff, I mean new cargo containers. And just like I did out here, I'm gonna go in here and start, um, hey, you know what, I'll wait. I'll wait for this to all get complete. So I'm gonna stop biting off more than I could chew at one time. What do you need, metal grids to be functional? What am I making right now? What are we producing? Metal grids, huh, how about that? All right, these guys are all picking up the ore. Um, let's see what I can, let's see what we can do in here, actually. So like I said, I want this entire room to essentially just be, um, look, we, we don't have an airlock again. Why? I don't know why we don't have an airlock. That's frustrating. It's fine, though. Okay, so we have a refinery here. That's good. Uh, these two cargo containers are going to go right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. And then um, what do we have down here? So we have our event controllers. I don't want to destroy those. Uh, I will be destroying this fan. And you're a conveyor junction, a build and repair. Hmm. The only issue is if I destroy event controllers and the timer blocks, that kind of screws us up for, uh, I have to reset all that stuff, right? I don't want to do that. So maybe I could just build back here. Yeah, you know what? That's going to be the plan. I will just build our refineries back here, and I'm going to get rid of this giant hydrogen tank, too. Man, they are taking their sweet time picking up all this stuff. Oh, did I screw up? I did. I broke their, uh, that's, that's what the problem is. I see now. I see exactly what happened. I accidentally broke their uh, connection back here. Okay, that's fine. I can fix that. So they are... Where are their connectors? 
How is that even the case? Oh, because this conveyor was connected. Oh, that makes perfect sense. But aren't you connected also? Hmm. Okay, we screwed up somewhere in here. We screwed up somewhere in here. So I guess these were connected to the large cargo containers, which in turn were connected to something else. I don't know. What I do know is we need to build a new build and repair system. So I'm going to go ahead and place it. I'm gonna place it somewhere else. We'll put it, uh, we'll put one out here, I guess. Okay, let's see. Uh, build and repair is gonna go somewhere where I have a connection. I think I have some junctions over here, I do. I'll put one right here for now. What do I need? Steel plates, probably. Get some of those and uh, let's go ahead and build some build and repair robots. So we'll put one over here and we'll try to get it built up manually. Oh my God, I have to drop everything. Okay, Um. all right. <clears throat> That's okay. It's like uh, old space engineers, you know? We're building everything by hand. Love it. It's not a problem, not at all. Ah, I keep accidentally putting everything in production, though. That's fine, we have the resources for it. I'm used to, I'm not used to pressing this button, that's why. All right, I just need large steel tubes, computers, and motors. All right, we need one more large steel tube. Can we make that? <clears throat> it's not looking good. Oh boy, this is gonna be, uh, this is interesting. I really messed things up. Inventory is full. Okay, um, you know what? We gotta figure this out. What do we need to build another cargo container? What do you need to finish? Metal grids and computers. Do we have metal grids? We do, but for some reason I can't. Okay, why is the build and repair not working? I'm very confused. Okay, um, maybe they just got overwhelmed. Either way. We're gonna finish building up this cargo container because we need it. Okay, so hopefully now the inventory is not full anymore. We can go ahead and produce our, uh... Oh, it still says inventory full. That sucks. Okay. I, I must have broken the... I must have broken the attachment between the cargo and the assembler. That's, that's what happened. Okay, I just figured it out. Oh, God, and we have another reaver. Okay, so the assembler... Where is the assembler? Are you the assembler? Nope, you're the refinery. The assembler is over here. Okay, so that's exactly what happened. I understand now. Okay, that's easy. That's not a huge deal. We just need to, hmm. We just need to connect these two guys. So what I'll do is I can't even do anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we're under attack. Lovely, beautiful. And my energy is critically low. Oh no. Everything bad is happening at once. Oh my god, he blew up our drill. And that tower. Did he crash into the tower? I think he crashed into the tower. Okay. Well, like I said, guys, everything bad is happening at once. Our drill has officially been destroyed. Uh, one of our defense towers has also been destroyed. Goodness gracious. And I can't seem to make a good connection back here. I can't figure it out. I need to get rid of this giant thing of cobalt. Okay, maybe that'll give us enough... Uh, Okay, hopefully that'll do it. I don't know why or how we ended up in that situation where the uh, the build and repair robots just weren't working. But I guess they're fixed now because they're starting to pick up the materials too. All right, so we need to get this thing welded up and we need to possibly just uh, destroy this assembler and rebuild it somewhere else. On top, we have another build and repair robot, which I will be destroying right now. Ouch. Okay, game did not like that. And our assembler is going to go too. And our speed module. I will keep the event controllers here, I guess, for now, uh, until we figure out what to do with those. Let me go ahead and dump everything in our inventory, which it should all be connected through like this oxygen tank. Yeah, okay, so everything is connected through there. And that means that everything's connected through this conveyor right here, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's an attachment. Okay, so we're good here. Not a huge fan with how this looks back here though, so like I said, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and redo it. It's not that big of a deal. Oh my god, look at all these components right here. <laughs> okay, uh, large steel tubes, do we have some? There's the small steel tubes, where's the large steel tubes? They're probably in storage, let's check. Yes, okay, so now I can finish building that other build and repair robot. Ah, oh, I forgot, I need computers. Okay, hopefully we have computers in here too. I thought we did, let's see. Computer, yeah, give me that. And some steel plates, just cause. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sorry. I am terrible at this. I'm used to these guys doing all the work, that's why. 
All right, this should be it. This should be it. Once this is done, it should be, yes, okay, it's functional. Let me turn you on, and we'll turn on fly mode. Walk mode, fly mode. All right, so now those guys are also helping the cause. Um, we need to go back in the room back here. Actually, what we need to do is build assemblers. So let me go ahead and finish clearing out everything in here. Um, I don't want to clear out a refinery just yet, but I feel like we need to. I don't know. This is all becoming a lot of uh, a lot more work than I expected it to be. <laughs> I should have planned this better from the beginning, and then we wouldn't be in this situation. But you know, here we are. Actually, while they're while they're cleaning up, I'm gonna go ahead and build a assembler. Just so we can keep things going. I could build it on top of this refinery right here, couldn't I? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Because if I build it here, I could still attach the modules to it, but only on one side. Hmm, you know what? No, I have an idea. We'll build it out like this. That way we can attach, so we could do two. Yeah, so we could do two like this, we could stack them, or we could even do three. And then we can attach the modules on both sides of them. Yes, that's gonna work. So now we have three assemblers, essentially, that we can attach modules to both sides of. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these two guys right here. Oof. This is a, uh, hmm. Okay, that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Let's see, once these guys get built up, I think, uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very undecided right now. I think we should get rid of this hydrogen. And, uh, uh this, oh, yeah, this generator right here. And, uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of you, too. I don't think we need you. All right, so now that we built the new batteries, too, well, we're in the process of building new batteries. I'm going to go ahead and break these guys down, too. And hopefully we don't run out of power. I will leave one just in case, just for now, until we get at least one built down in the uh, in the new industrial area. Let's go check on that, by the way. I don't know why I keep closing doors like an airlock matters right now, but let's see how we're doing down here. Do we have the first battery built yet? No. All we need is computers, though. Wait, I think it's built. Are you built? No, you're not. We just need computers, which I can get, right? Do we have computers? What do they look like again? Okay, computer. Yeah, let's go. All right, we have power. Let's go. Okay, cool. So now I can get rid of all of that then. And close this for no reason because airlocks don't matter. Uh, and then we can get rid of this other battery right here. And now that that's done, is this not connected to anything now? I'm starting to wonder if I destroyed our connections for everything let's see so this refinery yeah i can't transfer it to anything okay so we need to rethink these connections also wait 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 i think this will actually connect will it let's see let's see okay so there is a connection on both sides uh i'm gonna wait until i'm gonna build these two guys up first and then we'll see how that goes maybe i'll just build a junction right here i do want three assemblers though i think that would be cool hmm all right what do we need to build up you i'm gonna go ahead and add you to the build planner all right, well, it looks like we need computers and we have none, so. <clears throat> this has 64, I'll take them from that. And uh, yeah, we need some more. What else has computers? I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these speed modules for now, or both of them, because why not? Oh, we're still not even there. Okay, what do we got on this side? So this is still a refinery. Uh, computers up here, yep. Bye-bye, timer blocks. All that programming uh, for no reason. And cool, we still don't have enough. Did I drop some? No, okay. How about you, you have computers? Eight. How much am I short? 30, okay, 30 computers short, not a huge deal. I can find that, I can find that somewhere. Probably in all the drills that I need to break down anyways. Yep. So hopefully our uh, robots will just come and pick these things up. Man, this hurts, this genuinely hurts. I spent a lot of time on making this drill. Do I have any computers on me? Let's see. None. Okay, let me just drop everything. Let's see if we can find some computers on the ground. This is kind of ghetto. I miss when everything was easy. Computer. 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 What did I pick up that filled me up? Ah, uh, steel plates. Okay. Uh, let's see how we're doing now. Oh, God. And, of course, I... That's annoying. <laughs> I flew straight into a big rock. That's fantastic. Okay, so all those computers I picked up are now gone. Hello. Wonderful. All right, did they take it to storage or what? What did they do with it? Well, there's my tools, so that's a good sign. And my 25 computers, which I still need another five, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and break you down. I wish they would just start breaking... Uh, I wish they would just start breaking everything down, honestly. Oh, we have enough. Okay, cool. So we have enough now to finish our assembler. 
I still can't believe that Reaver shot down our drone. I am so upset about that. All right, assembler is done. Cool. Okay, so now we need to build a second assembler, but for first, we need to assemble stuff. <laughs> so we need to get this connected to a grid so we can start assembling because in the refiner we have, well, we have stone. Okay, we might have enough actually, but I don't know. <clears throat> let's uh, let's definitely get another assembler set up. You know, I was thinking about it. What we could do is do one like, like this because both ends have a uh, what you call it on them. Yeah, we could do. Oh man, that means we could add. Okay, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We'll do one right here, like that. So we could put our modules on both sides of it, and then we'll do another one right here, like that too. Ooh, actually, no, we can't do that. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. <clears throat> that was a mistake. Okay. Let's see, let's figure this out now. So short term, I could build some sort of a conveyor that kind of just goes up from here, which might be what we need to do, honestly. All right, so how is our refinery not producing iron right now? Oh, because we are, okay, wait, we are not out of iron. It's just taking a second to figure its life out, I guess. Unless this is not connected. Oh, this is gonna get frustrating, I can see it now. It's not connected. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is that not working? Okay, so we'll just do it right here. And then I'll just one for one all the materials. That way at least we can get some. All right, yeah, I got it now. All right, we're, we're good now. Now it's connected. Now we can build a second one down here, like so. And then that, now we can start to, okay. So let me go ahead and deposit everything in here. Let's get this queued up, get out everything we have so far, add the rest of the build planner and get it in production. All right, now what's cool is uh, we can throw way more of these modules on here and it's only gonna take up half the space. So I can kind of mirror this on the other side and uh, still have room to build some more stuff back here. Well, just in this little slot right here. Um, I do want to, I guess I'm just gonna, Let's see, should I build another one or... Nah, we'll just do a uh, conveyor right here. Just a tube. Simple little tube. Nothing crazy. Uh, build some interior plates off of here. And let's, let's grab... Yeah, there we go. Just get this second guy built on up. Oh, we're just short a couple computers. All right! There we go, we have both of our assemblers built up and uh, it's time to reconnect the entire grid. So let's see, we need to build one single tube right here. And I will get that also in the build planner and hopefully we have enough stuff to, uh, hopefully we have enough stuff to make it, which I think we should. All right, and just like that, everything should be connected. Let's go ahead and test it out by grabbing something from our assembler here and uh, it is not all connected. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it's totally okay because we can just come around here like so. Uh, we need some interior plates though. Uh, okay, we're gonna build a junction right here like so. Ah, I don't wanna do it right there though. That's, that's kind of gross. Is there any other way I could do this to make it look less ridiculous? I don't know. I think this is gonna be the way to do it, unfortunately. That's fine, junction right here. Go straight down into a uh, reinforced conveyor tube or a second junction, honestly. No, no, no. Curved conveyor tube. And there we go. Once all this stuff gets welded up, it should be good enough. All right, looks like I need some hydrogen. And at least all that's still connected. So I guess this grid down here is still good because I can move this to... Yeah, okay. So I can move this all over the place. That's not an issue, except for the Gatling turret. They got destroyed, but... Yeah, so that's good. So if I want to put this stone in a cargo container really far away, I can do that. That's fine. So once we get connected to this grid, everything should be good to go. I also want to build more of the uh, build and repairs because I feel like it's just not enough. And I guess they can't take anything out of the uh, assembler because, well, they're not connected. But why can't they take it out of the cargo containers? That's kind of confusing. If you're right here, what is what are you doing right now? Oh, block inventory is full, huh? So does that mean you guys can't build anything or what? What's the problem? Because there's stuff to build over here, but 
Uh, maybe they just don't have the stuff they need to build right now. Okay, that's fine. Once we, uh, like I said, once we get this built up, we should be good to go. All right, we are two motors away from reconnecting everything. And there we go. Everything is now connected. Fantastic. Okay. So now that the grid is back to being connected, uh, what we need to do is finish building these cargo containers down here because I feel like that's our next bottleneck. We simply do not have enough storage. What is... Oh my gosh, how did that get down here? Okay. So let me go ahead and add... Let's uh, add you and you to the build planner. How do we decide which assembler works first? I wonder how that works. Like, what does cooperative mode mean? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, they split the load. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so... <clears throat> are you guys gonna work now? Or what's what's going on here? Are they broken? I do not understand. Alright, we got another cargo container filled up. Or built up, I'm sorry. And uh, looks like they've already started putting some stuff in it. Sweet! So, with that, we need to... Oh, you know what, guys? Maybe we don't have enough power? I don't know. I don't know. This is all very confusing to me. I don't understand why... Oh, it's working now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Never mind. I take it back. I take it all back. I take it all back. Build and repair is working. So now while this assembler is doing this, I'm going to have this assembler build a second build and repair. And we'll do two more of these guys. Wait a second. I thought the assemblers were... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm very confused. Are they not hooked up they are right what is the problem here can i pull stuff out of you yes can i put stuff somewhere else like yes that was weird i couldn't pull things out of that uh huh okay interesting it wasn't letting me pull things out of the uh cargo container up there hmm well anyways we need to build some more build and repair robots so i'm gonna go ahead and get those going i think i'm gonna do one up here this is not a bad place for it and it kind of fits. You know, it looks like an antenna. We'll do one right there. And I want to do another one. I don't know where. Maybe over here. Kind of sneak it in over here. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. I know why it's not working. <clears throat> I figured it out, guys. Easy. That's easy. Easy problem to fix. Actually makes perfect sense. So the hydrogen connector isn't actually connected to anything. So, that adds up. Man, this has been a larger project than I uh, expected it to be, I have to say. Do not quite expect it to be this tedious, so I apologize. And these guys are busy trying to pick up all this uh, stone and stuff that we have. So, that's understandable. <clears throat> that's why I need more. You know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and get all this cleaned up, and then uh, I'll check back in when, you, when it's all finished. Alright, guys. Well, I think we're about finished with... Oh, a Reaver Berserker. It happens every time... I check back in with you guys. All right, so grand finale so far. We got rid of the drill because it got blown up. And then I started to do the heavy blocks around right here. And then down here, we have four hydrogen containers and nine large cargo containers. Um, that should be enough for now. Obviously, we have it conveyed all up and attached to our main base. Uh, I changed this around too. I made this um to where you could fit two more assault turrets up here and then two more gatlings down here and i did that on both sides i left the other ones the way they are and i added some more uh windmills to this windmill pole thing anyways on the inside let's take a look it's really dark in here are these lights not uh, i'll make them brighter anyways we cleaned up the industrial room so on this side we have a refinery with a yield module and filled in with speed modules and then on this side two assemblers both with speed modules attached, and then it's just mirrored on this side. Same thing, except I ran out of gold, so I didn't finish this yield module, but we'll get to that. I'm not super worried about it right now. And that's pretty much everything that's been changed uh, since I checked in last. Um, if we go take a look outside, you can see that... Hold on, let me let me take a look around real quick. So I added some more of these robot or uh, drone things around to help speed up production. Uh, you could see a ship crashed here. I don't know if that was there earlier or not, but anyways, I think it's time for us to move on to the next phase of our plans, and that's to find a good vehicle, right? So we could either build one or we could steal one, 
and I like stealing. I'm just kidding, but I do want to steal one. I think that'll be pretty cool, actually. We'll go steal our own and then maybe retrofit it to make it a little bit more fitted for our personal taste. Also, I heard you guys loud and clear. I'm going to make some sort of sensor, event block, something to depressurize and pressurize this room appropriately. I'll get there eventually. So what we're going to need now is a couple hydrogen bottles because I'm going to go flying around by myself since I don't have a ship. Oof, maybe I should put this. Give me one sec. <laughs> Let me just refill the two bottles I have. And maybe we'll craft one more. And another oxygen bottle, just cause, right? Just cause. And then we're gonna make us a, which rifle is this? I don't I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. This one has a king thing on it. Does that mean it's the best? We have silver, right? I believe we have silver. Crap. Oof, we actually don't have any more silver. Well, I can go get some silver real quick because that's what I wanna do. I wanna get this machine gun right here uh, I think I have two or three rockets in my inventory. Or missiles, maybe not. I don't know. I thought I did. But we're going to get some silver, and then we are going to uh, make that assault rifle and then go into space. So give me just a sec. What is that? The Reavers are angry. I also turned my beacon off because I was tired of getting attacked constantly. But I'm going to turn that back on just, you know, to see what happens. But for now, we're going to go mine us some silver. I want to say there's some... Over there. Cool, so let me grab the old con or the old mining ship. Put it to good use. Oh, I forgot our battery got destroyed. That's right, I was doing a little bit of mining and I accidentally crashed it. What do you need? Power cells. I think I can get that. All right. Let's go. All right, so we're looking for some silver, which we have already because this planet is fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but I am not a huge fan of the uh, asteroid mining. I just, it feels like they're so far apart. You have to travel such long ways to get there. And then you get there and it doesn't even have what you want. And you're back to square one. I don't know, it's a little bit tedious. I'm happy that this planet has everything that I need. Oh, overshot it a little bit. All right, silver, straight down. Let's get in a good spot. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh yeah, look at all that good stuff. Give me that. Lovely, lovely. Yes, please. All right, how much do we have? Quite a bit. I don't really know how much is enough, though. So I'll just get some more. Alright, that's it for now. I'll save the rest. It's super close. So I can just easily come back. But let's go ahead and back out of here. And head back home. Man, home looks so crazy from a distance. <laughs> this is insane looking. All the towers going up. It, it's kind of intimidating. Looks a little freaky. Alright, let's get this silver producing and uh, I'll make that rifle <clears throat> try to go out to space and not get my myself killed in the process is going to be the challenging part but I think we can do it I also have the uh, cooperative takeover mod so all you have to do is just destroy the control blocks and uh, if there's any uh, like remote control blocks seats stuff like that so it makes it a little bit easier but let's go ahead and get this stuff producing and then uh, I'll make the rifle I made a mistake a rather large one I didn't get any platinum. Do I have platinum? I have a little bit of platinum. Okay, is that enough? Is that enough platinum? It is not enough platinum. Okay, my bad. One more mining trip, and then we'll be able to make the rifle. Whoops. All right, guys, well, I have it. I have the assault rifle. Check this thing out. Um, hold on, you can't see it very well, but yeah, it's got a, it's got a red dot scope and uh, everything. Cool, I'm excited. I also have, I think, how many magazines? 14 magazines, so I think that should be enough to get us through it. Uh, let me check on our... Ooh, we need our bottles. That's right. Let me get those out. Uh, that's not good. Looks like we need more ice. <laughs> God. Uh, okay, so we don't have any hydrogen. Um, <clears throat> that's okay. I will take this one for now, and these two. And I'll go get some, uh, some ice real quick and uh, fill that up. Sorry guys, I know we can't, oh look, I left the airlock open. See, that's why I need to make the thing. I know we can't get started to save our lives, but uh, I promise you we'll get there. Give me one second. All right, I got them filled up, sweet. So we have one, two, let me get this one filled up too. So we have three full hydrogen bottles and two full oxygen bottles. Let me go ahead and refill everything too while I'm here. All right, now we're gonna go out into space, pick one of these waypoints and uh, see if we can take it over for ourselves. So let's see what we have here. So we have a space bus, a stellar transport. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm gonna go check out some of this stuff. I think first I wanna go check out this space pirate antenna. Let's see what they're talking about. Wonder if we can't get anything good from this uh, from this ship. If they shoot at me and I die, I'm gonna be really sad, but <clears throat> I can also just remake everything that I have on me, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. This just says it's an antenna. Okay, do you have guns? Pioneer Prospector. Okay, I don't see any guns. Well, this is interesting. What is this? Turn my lights on. Okay, what do you do? Whoa, it's like a little, it's like a little uh, escape vessel or something. Huh, okay, well, I guess we're gonna break in. Wait, I could just grind through this light armor block. All right, we're in. Let's see if they have anything good in here. I'm kind of scared. If there's an interior turret, it's gonna tear me up. Well, I don't know what this place is. This is interesting. Hmm, I don't think it really serves a purpose. There's like a little bridge up here, but I guess we could see what's up there. Ah, nothing. Well, you know what? Let me see if I can't take it over. I don't know. You know what? I'm kind of over it. There's nothing really exciting here, so I don't understand the point of it. Let's see what else we could find. There's home, so far away. All right, let's take a look at this uh, ADST and Anatolia. Anatolia. Oh, this thing looks heavy duty. All right, I don't think I could take this over. <laughs> oh wow, this thing is incredible. What? What happened up here? You took some damage. Oh no. You know, guys, I probably could take this guy over, but the problem is, how am I gonna get it back down to uh, down to the planet? Oh, this would be the this would be good though, because I could. Retrofit the back right here to ooh to hold like a mining vessel. Hmm. See what we're working with here. Will, will they let me in? I wonder if I could find it. If I could find everything and kind of scope it out, I may try to attack it. They got large cargo containers right here. This thing is full of storage. Man, this thing is sweet. Okay. How do I get inside though? Oh! Oh no! I made a mistake. And I left the airlock open. Okay. Where's my body? Where is my body? At least I died in space. It's easy to find my body. Oh, I'm going too fast, I'm going too fast. Ah, no. Yeah, let's go, give me all that. Wait, I want this, 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 and you can have these. There you go. Okay, let's go back and check this out and not slam ourselves into it again and kill ourselves. All right, so we were looking for an entrance, right? Um, So I see glass right here. So how do you get into this thing? What if there is no entrance? Wait, it's right here. Oh, access denied. All right, well, you know, guys, you got a full commit if you want to take a ship like this over. So if I want to get inside of this, I got to break down this door. But I have to do it rather quickly so I don't get shot. So I'm thinking instead of breaking down the door, I'll pick a spot like back here where no turrets can see me and just kind of dig in. What do you guys think? You know what? No, I'll just go. I'll go through the door. Screw it. Uh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. All right, I'm doing it. Oh, okay. I'm at one HP. It's fine. I can survive. I can't see much, but I will survive. All right, if there's one interior turret, I'm dead. I hear beeping. That means the remote control is nearby. All right, Uh, so this is another airlock back here. What's what's down here? Ah, cryo chambers. Yes, they have to go. Goodbye, cryo chambers. Okay, Uh, so we have to destroy cryo chambers. We have to destroy... Um, what you call it? Um, ah, what are they called? The remote controls and the cockpits. Okay, I need to dump my inventory out because I'm so tired of hearing that it's full. I don't even care anymore. Okay, there we go. Man, I wish I could use this medical room. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Okay, battery. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Okay, um, let's go ahead and break down this medical bay. And it's probably behind it. it was not behind it. Uh, I gotta find this thing, it's gonna drive me crazy. Got a gravity generator. Okay, this must be the bridge. Yes, we made it to the bridge. No interior turrets. Okay, and the remote control block sounds like it's in here somewhere. Okay, where is that remote control block? It's gotta be the last thing. I'm not hearing a beep anymore. Wait, if I build these guys back up. Okay, where could this uh, remote control be? There's a vent, it's not back there. I don't wanna destroy the ship too much cause you know, it's gonna be my vessel. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I won't be able to take over the vessel unless I do this. All right, am I missing something here? You guys will tell me if I'm missing something, right? That's a, okay. How do I take over this, this, uh, vessel? I don't understand. I never went through here. Let me check through here. Ah, what do we got? Gyros. Okay, so let's see what's behind this door. Man, that is annoying. Is there a way to turn that off? There has to be a way to turn that off. Ah, here we go. Remote control block. 
Let's go. Okay, let's see what happens. Is there another remote control block? Am I missing something here? Oh, they have a reactor, yes. Okay, all right, that's gone. I know it's critical. All right, so what's holding this grid up now? Why, why can't I take possession of it? Unless I'm missing something here. Let me make sure I'm not missing something, one sec. Okay, so I just reread through the instructions and it turns out that once I hack everything, the grid automatically becomes mine. So there's no, I don't have to do anything, but I just have to find energy everything. Low. Oh no, my energy's low. Okay, this is turning into a uh, race against the clock now. I don't want to go out there because I'll get killed. I guess I could build a seat and sit down, right? Hold on, let me see. Let's see if I can't build like a passenger seat <laughs> and just take some of their energy. I can. <laughs> All right, that should be illegal. Cool. So I don't own the vessel yet, but let's see if we can't let's see if we can't figure this out. My I guess my biggest concern right now is uh, if there's a remote control like super far forward. Because if so, I'm going to get killed trying to find it. But you know what I... Oh, you know what I can do? Okay, okay, okay. All right, give me one sec. Let's see if I can't... Um, see if I can't build an actual seat. Like a control seat. And then I could see or... Oh, yeah, a control panel would work too. Yes, okay. So let's see. We have remote controls. Okay, they're gone. Control seats are gone. Okay, it looks like everything's gone. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here that's uh, that should still be holding this can't transfer obviously I can't transfer ownership uh hmm hmm interesting maybe it just doesn't work for some reason or whatever that doesn't make any sense though it should work just fine if I took it over fair and square it should be my block my grid you know what I'm gonna go forward oh, well you know what guys it's not looking too good I don't know what the deal is why I can't seem to uh, take over this grid but it's kind of Wait, what is that up there? Are there any more remote controls? No, there are not. Well, this sucks. I killed the owner. And uh, it was all for no... Oh! Well, I guess it was all for no reason. Because uh, you can't steal a ship. That's interesting. I don't know why I can't steal that ship. I'd really like to. I gotta do better about closing this door behind me. Oh, man. They're still mad at me, too, aren't they? Well, that's weird. Let me see if I can't get my body back without getting shot. Well, let me see if I can't... Uh, See if we can't do make peace with them. Not interested. Lovely. Okay. Uh, I'll just go up here and try to get my body back then. I don't know why they're so upset. I didn't do anything wrong. That's a that's a joke. I definitely murdered their uh their ship guy. Whoever was driving that boat. Oh yeah, they're gonna shoot me as soon as I get in range. Whatever. If I die again, I'll just remake everything. That. Oh yeah, there it is. 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 Let's see if I can't outmaneuver them. Oh. Oh well, no harm, no foul. I can remake everything that uh, I lost up there. Unfortunately. <laughs> that includes the tools. Uh, and the gun. Uh, and there's a lot of red around now. I think they're all they're all kind of upset with me. Um, it's going to take some time, I think, to smooth out those relations. That is really weird, though. Why can't I take over the grid? I don't understand. Well, the good news is at least no one followed me back home. Um, no military forces, at least. And we got our tools back. Lovely. And our rifle. I wish I could get close enough, but I know as soon as I do, I'm going to get killed. Well, what happened to you? Whoa! What is this? Holy crap, what happened here? Looks like we were attacked, and uh, we won. Is everything okay? Seems to be, except for you. You took a bit of a hit. Let's get some metal grids to get you fixed up, but... What kind of ship was this? Is it... It's upside down, isn't it? I can't tell. <clears throat> it's probably reverse, but... I don't know. Maybe someone did try to follow me down and then uh, they learned the hard way why that's a bad idea. Well, might as well get all this grounded up. Let me see if I can't make the color for grinding. Uh, yeah, we'll do all of this. And then, uh, can I? Yes, there we go. Paint the whole grid that color and now they will come over here and hopefully grind this crap up, right? Is that how this works? <clears throat> Looks like they are. Nice. Who owns you? Let's see if we can't figure it out. We cannot figure it out. NPC hydrogen thruster. Okay. Probably Reavers, like I said. Whoa, what was that? <clears throat> we just shot at something. I think I heard a gunshot. What's going on out here? Parallax light star, huh? wonder what that's about. <clears throat> I wonder if they will kill me. Oh, I don't have a hydrogen bottle. Well, they can't kill me if I kill myself by being stupid, right? All right, now that we have a little bit of hydrogen, let's go see if we can't cause some, uh, some chaos up here. Wait, where did it go? Oh, man, I was looking for the... Ah, oh, where did it go? The stupid, um, what am I trying to say? 
the stupid uh, reaver thing. I guess I'll go check out this unknown signal while I'm up here. Oh, some space credits. Let's go. I'm going to go check out this beacon, too. That's uh, 10 kilometers away. Man, there's ship parts everywhere. You could tell that <laughs> they've been trying us. GCCG. Isn't that like a trade commission or something? All right. We are in a safe zone. This is interesting. Mm, this is a cool looking vessel, too, man. I wish I could take this over, but uh, it's in a safe zone. So we cannot. Uh, we can dock our ships here. That's pretty cool. This is an interesting looking vessel. Ooh. Okay. What do we got here? Okay. Is there anything else? A jukebox. Oh, I can't play any music. We got a cool little kitchen area. This is cool. Vending machine. What are you? A store. Okay, let's see what they have. Oh, I can buy a ship. What? Can I sell stuff too? Huh. Okay, so I see how this works. So interior plate, I can sell 83 of them. Nice. Oh, I can make stuff that's... Oh, wait a second. Let's see what's the most... Oh, explosives are worth a lot. Motors are worth a lot. Reactor comps. Steel plates are worth a lot. Uh... I'll sell all 12 of my steel plates, I guess. And look at that, I have $41,000. And they have ships for sale. Okay, what is it? Wow, three million. I could buy some soda. I could buy fighters. Oh, this is sick. Oh man, this is it. This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna buy a ship. We're gonna become millionaires and buy a ship. That's it. But first we need to find out what sells the best. And uh, it looks like explosives sell the best. I'm not quite sure what you need. Oh, an ATM. Let me go ahead and deposit all of my money. 41,000 deposit. Uh, okay, how much money do I actually have on me? 8,000, okay. Deposit 8,000. 8,806. All right, my account balance is 50,000. We are working our way up. If we give you another chance, what's in it for us? Well, I'm gonna buy a bunch of ships and destroy you with them. I mean, um, nothing, I'll be super peaceful. And uh, it's gonna be great. <clears throat> okay, so contracts. Oh, what are contracts? A partner station has not been able to supply. Okay, so, huh, there's contracts. I did not know that those were a thing. Um, I don't work for anybody though. That's the thing, I work for myself. So the best thing I can do is create explosives and uh, come back and sell them to you. Okay, okay, nice. What is this, a bed? Very good. Is there anything I can steal from in here? No, I cannot steal, okay. All right, let's get off the ship and uh, let's go find Let's go make some explosives. I'm excited. Where is home? Home. I might need to turn our little ship into a hydrogen ship just to be able to carry all the stuff out here to sell. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how much money I can make. Ah, there's home, sweet home. I missed you. Okay. Let's see if we can't make some explosives. What do you think? We're going to need to farm a bunch of magnesium? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, production. Where is explosives? Uh, are these? Nope, that's a data pad. How do you make explosives? <laughs> I don't I don't know what to do. Uh do you buy explosives? Okay, hold on a sec. Let me figure this out. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make my own store down here. And see if it uh see if it doesn't work the same way. Ah! I made a mistake! No! Okay, uh how do you <laughs> how do you go back to white? Let's see. There we go. Okay. I almost marked all that to be grinded down. I would have been really upset. Okay, we're gonna make our own store, so. No, it's already doing it. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, that's annoying. At least I can, can I? No, stop grinding things. God bless it. Well, that's frustrating. All right, you know what? I'm reloading the game because I'm not dealing with that. All right, we're back. I made a horrible mistake and I apologize. So, like I was saying, we're gonna make a store. And uh, let's see if I can't, I don't want it to be red. I want it to be white. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need steel plates. What a surprise. Give me one sec, guys. I'm just gonna make a ton of steel plates. I'd never wanna have to make steel plates again. Okay. So I'm gonna put it, uh, I guess, does it need to be connected to a, uh, hmm. Does it need to be connected to anything? Can I put it right here? Put it right here. And it's done. Okay, so I can't buy or sell anything from the store. <clears throat> it has to be at a trade. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, I had to figure that out real quick. Now we need to figure out how to make explosives. Okay, it says I can make it in... Oh, I was just missing it. Where was it? Oh, it was right here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make as many of these as we possibly can. Oh yeah, check that out, man. We are... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's like printing money. Okay, 
Let's go. Okay, I have 52 explosives. <laughs> Hopefully that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna go back up and sell it, and then uh, we're gonna start building a fleet. I'm gonna buy these ships and turn it into a... It's gonna be crazy, I'm excited. Um, oh, the civilians forgave me, yay. All right, where was that trader at? Ah, over here. Time to get rich, time to get rich. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I didn't even know this was a, you know, I'm a noob in Space Engineers, guys. I had no idea. I just got the DLC right before I started this series for the economy. And uh, no clue that this is how it works. So this excitement is genuine, I promise. <laughs> I had no idea. I want to take a deep dive into the contracts as well, but that, that might come later. I'm going to die. Okay, oh, never mind. Sorry, I almost lost my cool there. Uh, maybe that'll come later once I uh, get some ships and uh, start building up my fleet. But let's go sell it and make some money. Screw your airlock. All right, let's see what we got. Where was the vending, where was the selling area? Ah, right here, right here. All right, sell. Explosives, 26,000 a piece. Okay, uh, let's sell 52 of you. Oh, I can't, they are, they're only gonna buy 16. <clears throat> okay, well that gave me a lot of money. Oh my God, that gave me a lot of money, Jesus, okay. Ooh, metal grids. Okay, metal grids are what's next. Let me deposit my cash. Uh, how much do I have on me? Uh, did it go straight into my, oh, it must've went straight into my bank account. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, so 365 metal grids is what they're willing to buy. So I'm gonna go back, make those, and uh, see how many I can transport up here at one time, because I think they're kind of heavy. Oh, there's a parallax security outpost. That would be fun to go destroy. That would be good. Yeah, we may, we may go do that as well, but not, not right now, not this episode, maybe next episode. It'd be even cooler if they came to try to destroy us and we just absolutely smoked them. All right, there's our house. I'm going way too fast. Oh, wow. Okay. That, uh, that made me a little tense. All right, let's go grab us some metal grids and make us some more money. I'm also gonna dump the machine gun in the magazine for now, cause I don't think I need it. And one of these bottles, just to save some space. Oh, what's going on? What is that? A reaver presence has appeared. Okay, whatever. I ain't scared. All right, looks like we don't have any metal. A reaver impaler has detected a potential target. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's coming towards us. Okay, time to fight. <clears throat> Let me get the machine gun back out. Time for me to actually engage in some combat. And then we'll sell the metal grids. Don't worry guys, we're gonna get there. Hey, this thing's got some recoil. Yeah, target me, target me. Don't target my base. Oh yeah, let him have it. Come on, take him down. No missiles. Oh, where is he? What is he aiming for? Oh, he's going down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's going down. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I helped, I helped. All right. Cool, that was that was easy. I wish they were always that easy, right? Okay, all right, metal grids, metal grids, metal grids. Uh, production, uh, 365, right? So we'll just do, I wonder how many I can carry at one time. Are they super heavy? Uh, are we using them for something? Oh, uh, okay, we are. I just gotta steal them real quick before the uh, build and repair robots get to them. All right, looks like I have all that I can carry and I have 67. Yeah, I really should make like a cargo ship so I don't have to keep doing this by hand, but also I'm not super worried about it because I feel like either on this trip or eh, maybe not this trip, but maybe the next trip, I can uh, buy a cargo ship or something to be able to sail back over here or sail, fly back over here and uh, increase our profits tenfold. I wonder if there's any other trading vessels. I don't know. It's okay. We're going to figure this out. I should make uh, about, I don't know how much I'm going to make, a lot of money. Okay, and I keep going to the wrong side. All right, let's see. So metal grids, or not metal, yeah, it was metal grids. They want 365 pieces at 3,444 a pop. I'm willing to sell all of my things, which is 67 for, oh God, 230,000. Oh my goodness, guys, check it out, man. <clears throat> Look at all this, this is insane. All this stuff we can buy is wild. I don't know what a zone chip does. But we have freighters, miners, a tug ship. I don't know what that's for. Prospector. Huh. I think I'm going to buy the fighter. The fighter Mark II. <clears throat> and uh, I also want the... Wow, that's expensive, actually. I want the bulk freighter, but 86 million is uh, no joke. 
I only have 709,000. Whew, okay. All right, well, time to keep it going. What else can we sell? I'm going to keep selling metal grids, I guess. I need to... Uh, you know what I need to do. We all know what I need to do. It's time to build a ship. You know what, guys? Instead of buying or building a brand new ship, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take this guy right here and slap a bunch of ion thrusters on it. So let me get some ion thrusters and, uh, yeah, we're going to put them everywhere. After I get some steel plates. What a surprise. We need steel plates for that. Who would have guessed? What a surprise. Good news is I made a bunch of steel plates. Give me those. All right, so this is not to be aesthetically pleasing. This is for function only. Don't get upset with me. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, and I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, we need upwards and downwards. So I'll do like that. And then down here we will do one, two, three, four. Oh, I screwed up or I made it perfect. All right. That should be enough to uh, get us out into space and be able to haul some stuff. But we need a bunch of thruster components, so I'll go ahead and make those real quick. Oof! You know what, guys? You can't win for losing. I need gold. Well, good news is, I have a miner ship. So I'll go ahead and use this to go get the gold to finish building it up. Where was that gold? Oh, right here. That's right. I'm going too fast. It's too heavy. Uh, let's back it up. Let's back it up. All right, we're connected. Now it should process that gold, and we should be able to make our thruster. And hopefully the thrusters are enough to get us out into space, which I'm, I'm sure they are. Let's see what we're producing right now. Not gold. Okay, we want gold. Make the gold. Nothing else but gold right now. Oh, look at that. It's going to finish the yield module. Well, no, it's not, because I don't have superconductors queued up, but I'll get to those eventually. Yes, thruster components. Nice. All right, I'm going to queue this up. Uh, Let's see. Thrusters. Wow, there's a whole group for that. Okay. Um, Let me... Uh, give me a sec, guys. Block group. Atmo. Thrust. Save. And uh, in the G menu, we're going to go down here to groups. And Atmo Thrust, we're going to turn it off. Uh, on and off. That way, when we get into space, we're not trying to use Atmo Thrusters for no reason. And wasting battery. Because that would be bad. Why are we not making... Okay, one sec. Let me finish making these thruster components. Oh, look at that. I think it's done. It is done. Yeah. Okay, so we have thrust for space and thrust for atmosphere. Lovely. Love that. All right, so now what we're going to do is make sure that I... Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let me put all this stuff away so the stone can go away. Make sure there's nothing in the ship, nothing in the connectors. Okay, we are completely empty, right? So we're going to take the metal grids... If we have any, okay, I guess we don't have any. Man, we used all those that fast? That's insane. Godly. Okay, give me a sec. I don't remember how many... I sold like like 60-something, so I think they still want like 300. Okay, so we're going to take... Ah, there we go. They're still trying to build stuff with them. Oh, they keep stealing them from me. Okay, well, we'll take the steel plates at least. All right, you know what? <clears throat> we'll go with what we have right now because we are fully stocked. So let's head towards that uh, trading ship. Why can't I see? Ah, okay. I had turned it off. I was so scared. This may take a while. All right. Went ahead and flipped off the Atmo thrusters. And we are full ion right now. <clears throat> and we're moving pretty good. So that's good. We're not going the fastest, but you know what? It's better than going too fast, I guess. We are not good at slowing down, though. I'll tell you what. And goodbye. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> okay. Well, now we know for the future to uh, slow it down a little bit when we get closer to the outpost. Probably should have done a little bit more thrust, but uh, you know what? That's why we, we live and learn, right, guys? I could definitely put some more. Yeah, uh, I see places where I could put more. <clears throat> All right, we are going the right direction. Um, so here's what I'm going to do this time. We'll get up to about 100 meters per second, and then I'm going to turn off dampers and uh, just coast so we don't fly past it one more time. You know what? 60 is good. We'll, we'll stay at 60 <laughs> just to be safe. All right. So we did a little bit better this time coming in. Uh, I realized that if I angle the ship up like this, I get a little bit more thrust this way. So uh, yeah, looks like we nailed that. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and put this down on a connector. And uh, I want to see how the resources, if they transfer or if I have to pull everything out of the ship individually. Because if so, that'll be annoying. But let's see. Man, this thing sucks. Moving forward, I think I'm going to retro or uh, I'm sorry, repurpose this ship to be hydrogen powered. Since we have all those hydrogen containers, 
I may even make it larger so we can get more ice and get some hydrogen. You know, more ice equals more hydrogen equals more time I can fly. Because this is just ridiculous. This thing is awful. Right, let's line up this connector. All right, we're in there. And we are connected. Okay. Beautiful. At a minimum, at least it'll recharge our batteries that we barely used. Also, I kind of hate that ship, and I might just drive it straight into the dirt when we get back to the planet. If I'm being honest. All right, let's see. Sell. Yeah, let's go. Rock Lobster's here. Okay, perfect. So, construction computers. We could sell all 37 of those. I just hear a door. That was weird. Okay, uh, 38 motors. How much do they want for the motors? Oh, man, that's good. What'd I say? 38. Sell. Uh, what are these? They don't want... Those are called reactor components. Reactor components? Is that what that is? No, that's not reactor components. I don't know what that is. Uh, they do want computers, though. Not very much at all, but something. What? Oh, I only have 10. <laughs> well, that's not really worth it. And then, uh, okay. So, let me go back and... Wait, I have stuff in my inventory, too. I forgot. Steel plates. Let's go. They're paying 936 per steel plate. Let's go. Okay, so I have 335. Man, that was a hefty payday. Oh, buddy. Okay. So, now we... I think we have over a million dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to check the ATM, but for now, I have to pull some stuff manually out of the ship because I didn't didn't come with me okay so we'll take those and those and those yeah I got an achievement the millionaire club check me out I'm rich I went the wrong way I'm rich about time right all right construction components times 30 another 15k don't mind if I do metal grids we have 44 of those That'll give us another 161,000. Oh, man. Okay, and then 89 of you. will give us another 83,000. That is nuts. All right, now we have $1,390,000. What can we buy? We can buy a data pad. I don't know what that, I don't know what that does, but I kind of don't want it. An aggressive miner. That sounds... Eh, I'm not going to say. Okay. Uh, what is the sapper? Hmm. A kite miner... Another miner. <laughs> okay, I can buy miner ships if I wanted. Whoa, you're 473 million? Brother. Okay. I think I'm going to hold off on buying a mining ship for now. I do want to take like a mental note. Bulletproof glass is selling for a lot. Detector comps are selling for a lot. And explosives. I can still sell 10, 10 more explosives. Motors are selling for a lot too. I might just go max out motors. You know what? I think that might be the move, honestly. It wants 400. That can give it 400. I'll do bulletproof glass too. All right, let's go. You're done resting. Uh, where's home? There's home. I'm not joking either. The the whole uh, I might turn this into a hydrogen ship is real. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet though. I think I might just slap a few more ion thrusters on it, quipping a baby. But we'll see. I do wish there was a way to like look from the ground to see what prices they want for stuff. Just because I'll forget. I know that Bulletproof Glass and Motors are the two big ones right now. So I'll make a bunch of those. But I'd like to see what everything is. Just to have a better idea. You know what I mean? But I'm not upset. This is really cool. And I'm really excited for this to work. Oh, God. I'm going too fast. What a surprise. All right. Let's, uh... Wow. The atmospheric thrusters work a lot better than the ion thrusters do. I'll just have to add some more. Also, I'm thinking about doing something uh, that you guys are probably going to hate but it may be necessary just to make this trading process a little bit better. And that is, whoops, I'm thinking about chopping this connector and the drills and putting a cargo container down in the connector. It's happening. It's too late. It's already happened. Not a conveyor junction, a cargo, a medium cargo container. And we'll do it like so. And uh, we can still do drills, you know? We need interior plates, so we can still do drills off of it, but only if we need them, right? We don't necessarily need them. All right, so put you right there, get you nice and built up, and then a uh, connector on the bottom. That way we can pass uh, larger items through without having to carry them in our inventory and it being dumb. Come on, build robots, you know what to do. Oh, did I break my gyros? Oh, I did, the gyro was connected to that. Oh no. All right, give me a sec, guys. Ah, silly me, breaking my gyros. Uh, I need motors and computers. I think I have those. 
Yep. Where's my ship? There it is. Let's go! Okay. Let me just go ahead and get it connected. <laughs> so I can, uh, the build robots will fix the rest of it. Switch lock on number two. Connector's a lot lower now. I gotta get used to that. Whoa, that was awkward. All right, I'm happy with it. Now, while that's working, I'm also going to build some more ion thrusters because I can't deal with that anymore. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I should have left them on my hotbar. Okay, uh, let's see. So we can definitely put another one in the middle right here. We could definitely put some more forward thrusters right here. No, not there. Come on. Right here. What are you guys thinking? And then obviously we can definitely do uh, more sideways up here. And uh, why not some more another backwards? No, it's going to get damaged. Hmm. Up here in the nose. Perfect. Lovely. And then one more here just for good measure. All right. That should give us a little bit more thrust. I, you know what? I can just erase these lights and put an even six on the tail over here. I just need, uh, I just need the stuff to build them. Where are my... Oh, I turned them all off. That's why. I was like, why are they not working? I was getting upset. I was getting upset with my little drones because they weren't working. Toggle them on. Also, we need to make more thruster comps. How about 10? She already fixed the gyro. What are you waiting on? Hell yeah. Okay. Looks like all of our thrusters are already built up. <clears throat> Which means it's time to... Oh, oh. What are you guys doing? All right. Now all of our thrusters are built up. Which means it's time to go back to space. So now that we have a large... Yeah, let's go. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in here for now. Bulletproof glass for sure. Steel plates. Uh, are we getting attacked right now? Is that what's going on? Yep, that's exactly what's going on. Lovely. Um, okay, so we want motors. So let me go over here and type in motor. And how many do we have? Not a lot, it's okay. I'll put you in here, you in here, and you in here, and we're gonna go ahead and produce just a ton of these. Same with bulletproof glass. These guys are worth a fortune. I, it's almost mind-blowing how much they're uh, willing to pay for these things. Oh, okay, the attack has started. Where's my gun? Where are you? Oh, here comes a missile. Oh, miss, 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 miss. Oh, it didn't really do anything. Yeah, tear him up, tear him up. Oh, no. Oh, brother. He definitely just crash landed on top of our base. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I, I think everything's fine though. Oh, there's a hole in my roof. He broke one of the lights, that's okay. We will fill you in with a heavy armor block as soon as I get some steel plates in my inventory. Like I said guys, every block that gets destroyed, I just fill it in with a heavy armor block. I don't know why. It just seems like the right thing to do. That was insane. He completely got destroyed and just thrown into my base. And I, I guess I only lost one block, which, you know, not upset about. All right, so I have on me a bunch of steel plates. Uh, the ship itself has a bunch of motors. Uh, we need the bulletproof glass. More motors, yes please, more bulletproof glass. We don't need the thruster components, those can go back. Um, I wanna say computers were selling, but not that much, so I'll just leave those there. More motors and more bulletproof glass. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this right now. <laughs> this ship looks so stupid. <laughs> All right, there's another trader there too. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go check that guy out too. After I after I buy my first ship, I'm getting kind of close to this parallax installation. I hope they don't open fire on me. I don't think I'm gonna get in range. Oh, I just stayed out of range. That was kind of scary. If they would have shot me down, I would have been pretty sad, honestly. Well, this seems a lot more controllable than it was the first time, so that makes me happy. It's not perfect, but it's better. We're not going 10 kilometers past where we wanted to go, so that's a good thing, right? I say that's a win. And then what do I have in my inventory that can go in? Yeah, oh, it can't fit. Okay, that's fine, I'll just sell it from myself. I'm kind of curious as to how it works. Like when I buy a ship, does it just spawn out here? Does it spawn connected to a connector? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we buy our first ship. Man, this thing has the maneuverability of a 18 wheeler. It is ridiculous. All right, we're all docked up. Let's go sell some crap. I'm excited. Time to get rich. Oof. The price of steel plates went way down. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we got our uh, we got our motors. They went 486. We have 426. Oh my god, that's almost a million dollars. Wow. Okay. 
<laughs> nice. All right, uh, bulletproof glass. Uh, we have 386. That's another 323 thousand dollars. Is there anything else you guys want? I have computers. I have 181. I'll take it. Six grand. It's better than nothing. I have one of you. And uh, I guess they don't want small steel tubes. I don't. Oh, I do see it. Okay. I have six. All right. We have two million seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. That is just nuts. Um, I don't. I don't even know what to say. Metal grids are still a hot seller. Uh, we should have brought more of those. Small steel tubes are also a potential money maker, and so are reactor components. There's a lot of stuff here that we could sell. I think that uh, oh, interior plates too. Those are those are worth a lot, also. All right, you know what? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and buy us a ooh cargo shuttle. You know what? We're gonna buy it. Screw it. <clears throat> it's probably better than what we have right now. And it'll help us make more money to buy more ships. Okay, I bought it. Where is it? <laughs> how do I how do I access it? Can I F10 it? Nope. Is it in my inventory? Hmm. Interesting. I definitely just bought that ship. There's no way I did not. Yeah, I only have a million dollars, so. Where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. Oh, I see it. Okay. Sorry guys, I was being a little dumb. <clears throat> Let's go check out our new ship. What do we got? What do we got? Are you hydrogen powered? What? I don't know anything about you. I just bought you blindly. All ion. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? That's actually not terrible because we can put a lot more. We could put the uh, atmospheric thrusters on you. But we're going to need to do that up here. All right. So we need to do a little bit of refab work. Check it out, guys. We got our first ship. Well, we bought our first ship. Look at it. Isn't it so cool? I'm super excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I am ecstatic. Okay, so we need to take our steel plates and put them in the cockpit so we have some room. There's a medium cargo container on this guy. I think our ship was better, honestly. I think I just got ripped off. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to dwell on it. I can't even grind. All right, you know what? You just stay here. I'm upset. This thing kind of sucks. <laughs> I just spent a million dollars. And this ship sucks. That's that's unfortunate. That hurts my heart tremendously. Okay, you you stay there. I don't want to. I don't want to look at you. All right, come on, ship. We're gonna go see what else we can do. Uh, I saw a trading outpost. Okay, Wheeler Trader. This way, seven kilometers this way. We're gonna go there. We're gonna check that out. Uh, is this like a? Can I fly into this? Looks like I can. Oh, there's connectors everywhere. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Um, it's kind of scary, honestly. All right, let's connect to you. Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, why is everyone mad at me? Was I not supposed to connect? Uh-oh, I'm upside down. Hello, I'm just here to trade. I'm not here to cause any problems. Okay, uh, looks like this is not the place to be. I will be leaving now. I apologize. Oh my God, no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm running. I'm running, I'm leaving the ship behind. No, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, well, you know what, guys? That's that's okay. Uh, I kind of hated that ship, anyways. It was kind of a drag. I definitely want to build a larger. Now that I know that space trading is on the table, I kind of want to build a larger ship that can. Uh, they can um, w w carry stuff, you know what I mean? But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm sorry, I know we were supposed to build a ship today. I really wanted to, but we kept getting distracted. And uh, <clears throat> next time for sure, we're either going to build one or we're going to buy one. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I can't wait to see you next time. Goodbye.